Okay, so I have my mechanical plan on and I want to turn that off. A lot of times I hear people going using the hotkeys VG to get to um, to get to visibility graphics like that, right? There's another shortcut. You can use VV. It will get you to the same place. So what I'm going to do is turn off my mechanical. Okay, so that's all off. Uh, so that was a little tip I wanted to share with you guys. And let's see, where am I? I think I'm on water. I think I'm on the water part of this project. And <clears throat> so I got my hot and cold water going down, going down, um, going down to the basement. And here's the basement level floor plan, basement level water. So you go here and these are going up if you're in the basement. And what I should do is, let's turn this off. What I should do is, see you can use, you can use this. There's another, uh, um, I was gonna say AutoCAD. Here's another tip. Uh, let's see if I can do this and control C, copy that one and copy to clipboard and go to my first level. And I want to paste this to the current view, okay? Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. So that's a little tip you can use instead of, because I'm so lazy. I didn't want to um, type that text over, but that's just one way of, of uh, copying text up to the next level. There's a lot of uses for that, um, for that f feature. I don't know if it's a feature or whatever. But let's say, for example, let's say, for example, um, I have another toilet fixture, right? Oh, that should be, that should be um, pinned. These should be pinned. I don't want to select the model, so that's good. Um, these should be pinned. This one, that one. What happened? One of these are not pinned. That one. So why is it saying that it's pinned? Ah! Control. So it's this one. Pin. Hmm. Okay, let's unpin it for my demonstration. So let's say, for example, this, um, there's, un there's a water closet here and I want to copy it to the next level or whatever level, um, up or down. I can go to the basement, but there probably won't be anything for it to hold on to, meaning a wall, a host. Um, so I can choose this, and you can choose a lot of things. Um, so I choose this water closet and copy to clipboard and go to the floor above Let's go to the floor above. Okay, what I okay, this is good. This is a perfect example. Well, not perfect, but it's pretty darn close. Uh, where was I here? I want these to be identical. So why did I put this up? Oh, I think I need room here, but that's that's okay. Um, let's go, uh, let's go to, yeah, because these seem to be in a different location. Are they pinned? So I don't want to pin them. I want to erase, go back to the first level, and I want to copy these to the identical spot on the level above or second level. So I do select, copy, go to the second level, water, 
and paste at current level. Align to current level. level. Okay. So that's that. So that's how you do that. All of these, as long as there's a host, and in this case the host is, is this wall. If that wall is not a common wall, let's say, for example, this guy. Where is that second level? First level. This guy over here. So second level. I don't know if there's a wall over here, but let's see what Revit will do. See if I want to copy. Um, copy and go to second level and let's see what happens. Paste align to current view. Oh, okay, it doesn't need a host. <laughs> That's pretty good. So now we know where exactly it is. So yeah, you can, I mean, there's, there's another tool tip that you can use. I thought that, um, well, if, if that's the case, then I can see why it doesn't need, if you're using that tool, it doesn't need a host um, if, it's a, if it's a fixture. Because you can, you can use so many things. Um, let's say this, um, this floor drain, right? So if I copy this floor drain, and I want to be in the exact, exact location, which I do for the second level. This is good. This is a, this is a good exercise. Uh, let's go back because I think I want, I want this and this uh, floor drain. Go to my second level. <laughs> Let me go back. Uh, what's that? The basement. I want that off. Okay, here, because I forgot a step. Here, copy, copy, and go to second level, and now we paste. Align to current view. So these show up, okay? So that's a little, that's another tip. Okay, and what was I going to do? What was, when I first started this, what was I doing before I got distracted? Oh, I was doing the water. Okay, so these, you, let me, these have to be, that one, I'm going to pin these, okay. Okay, so um, so I need um, water to go up to the second level. There's three laboratories here, and on the second level there's four. So we have a total of seven. Okay, so we got uh, seven, seven uh, laboratories on the left-hand side, and we got six laboratories, including the ones up on the second level, six. But we have these. So what do I need? Do I need to, I think what I'm going to do, f let's see. So there's seven, seven water closets. So let's look at the, the spreadsheet. So if I have seven, okay, I had seven laboratories, and that comes out to 28 GPM. Okay, water, con water supply fixture units. Cold water, hot water. So 10, 10.5 fixture units is 28 GPM, okay? Let's check that out. 10.5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 5 fixture units, 10 fixture units, okay? So we go up, and this is for flush valves. This is 
flush tanks on her curves, on her curves with an S. <laughs> um, so, so I have 10.5 fixture units, 10 here, 20, 25, about, yeah, that's about right. So we'll go back here, 28 GPM, that's about right, looking at the calculations. Uh, so now what we need to do is 28, I have 28, let's look at the other one, 28, yeah, let's look at this one. Let's go, can I move this up a little bit? So if I have 28, say it's 30, and I want to keep it between 6 and 7, the velocity, feet per, feet per second. Let's go over here to maybe about right in here. Okay. So I would increase that to one and a half inches for to, to supply four um, lavatories. So we go back and just coming off create similar okay and come from here I'm gonna go one and one half cold water system type domestic cold water come here here go over to about right there now there's so many ways to do this well not so many but there are a number of ways to to design this type of w how i'm going to feed this you know, i could come here and take off right and feed all of these these fixtures feed all of these fixtures but i'm going to make it simple and and um, feed off of this one and one half inch. Uh, I can collaborate or I can annotate this. And let's use an attach, let's not use the leader. Just gonna kind of put it right there. Okay. Now, to go up and to feed my, my laboratories, what I'm gonna do is, in order to see what's going on, I'm gonna include this laboratory and it's gonna include the laboratory on the second level, okay? But the reason I'm showing this section view looking north is because I want the fitting to go up and down. Let me show you what's going on. So I right click, I hover over, my section hover over right click and go to that view and let's get a let's get a reference here go to that view and i am here so wow i don't know what's going on here something's going on with the mechanical it looks like some interference but anyway we're gonna go here and let's go up Okay, so you want to go up to maybe about right here. You don't want to go above because you're wasting pipe. So you take your, um, this is going to be a different size. So it's what, is it four now? Four, where's my XL? So there's four, okay. So that's 22. So you can kind of eyeball it at this, at this point, you know. For me, I would go, I would, change this to a one inch um, change it to a one inch and go back down turn off VV turn off that um, vent okay and I think wait a minute let's do this Go back to one and a half and 
do this. I mean, this is and change this. I'm going to change this to a one inch. And it's just a reducer, right? Shift and go down. I'm just going to make it like that. And do the same for um, and do the same here uh, uh, as I go down. Why is it not? Okay, there it is. Okay, we go here and let's just change it to a one inch. Okay. Okay, that's some structural. So here you can, you can, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, just um, extend the pipe that just a little bit above the fixture. Okay, and now we can go to first floor and let's change the orientation view. I'm gonna go here. Um, I'm going to go 90, and let's look at the orientation this way. We go back to the view, and we can go above. Now it's going to be whatever size this is, so just for demonstration purposes. Um, let's see what I should. I think I'm going, I think I'm going to, let's see, here. Do a one inch and then I'm gonna change this to a three quarter inch. Okay, the same for, yeah, let's go below. So I don't need to go that high. Okay, so we go here. Let's go here and then I changed it, right, to a three quarter inch. Okay, three quarter inch. Let's go back. And from this cold water, we can tap into this cold water and connect. And connect. Here, we're going to go make the pipe type and the system type. We make that connection. Oh, it's coming from below. Okay. Make another connection. Pipe type, system. Okay, we're just making a connection. And the last is a pipe type and system. System should be okay. Uh, let's do this. Modify and let Reva do the hard work. Uh-oh. <gasps> Yeah, okay. And let's do the same for the second level. We can go here. Paste. Second level. Hot water is always on the right hand side. Cold water is always on the right hand side. Hot water is always on the left hand side. So we go here. Cold water again. And we connect. Okay. Cold water again. Right click. Go out just a little bit so that Revit can do the rest of the work. Here. Here. Okay. So everything seems to be, I should have some fixture units in here. Fixture, fixture, fixture units. Yes, 4.5. Uh-oh. But now I have to go over and get this guy, okay? So we have our orientation, that works out okay. So I'm just gonna kinda peel off here. Okay, just peel off a little bit. And draw this pipe over. So one inch, I'm gonna change that just because. Make it three quarter inch and go back to second level. 
and the cold water is on the right hand side here copper here Let's see what's going on here should be the same okay and now we can fill it let the rivet do its work and we're all good so we go back to the section view everything is is uh go back to first level let's count up i think what i'm gonna do is leader friend move this guy out you know what uh just gonna delete it <laughs> annotate uh, tag by category leader friend let's just do this okay yeah that's good so I'm looking for my fixture units making sure that they are adding up 10.5 okay that's good okay I think I'm gonna leave it here and I will talk to you guys later